In this video, we're going to talk about how to divide decimal numbers. So let's start with this example. What is 8.5 divided by 3.4? Well, we need to set it up this way. The 3.4 is the divisor, and 8.5 is the dividend. Now, it may not be the best thing to do long division right now. So what we need to do is adjust this expression. Let's move the decimal point one unit to the right for both numbers. It turns out that 85 divided by 34 is the same as 8.5 divided by 3.4. So we're going to focus on doing long division here. 34 goes into 85 two times. 34 times 2 is 68. And then if we subtract 85 by 68, Let's do it over here. 5 minus 8 will give us a negative number, so we're going to have to borrow a 1. The 8 becomes a 7, and 15 becomes, I mean 5 becomes 15. So 15 minus 8 is 7, 7 minus 6 is 1. So this gives us 17. Now, 34 doesn't go into 17, so we need to add a decimal point and a 0. Now, how many times does 34 go into 170? We're going to treat 17 as if it's 170. Well, let's make a list. 34 plus 34 is 68. And then if we add 34 to 68, that's going to be 102. And then 102 plus 34, that's 136. And then if you add it again, that's 170. So notice that 34 goes into 170 exactly five times. So 0.5 times 34 is 17. So the remainder is 0, which means that 8.5 divided by 3.4 is 2.5. And so this is the answer for the first problem. Now let's work on another example. Let's take 10.8 and let's divide it by 1.5. So feel free to pause the video and try that problem. So 1.5 belongs on the outside, and 10.8 belongs on the inside. Now let's adjust the problem. So let's move the decimal point one unit to the right for each number. It has to be the same. If you move the decimal point one unit to the right for the first number, it has to be the same for the second one. And so this problem becomes 15 on the outside and 108 on the inside. Now, how many times does 15 go into 108? Well, let's make a list. So we have 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105. And then if you want to go further, 120. You can stop at 150. You never need more than 10. But this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10. So 120 exceeds 108. 105 is the highest number just under 108. So we could say that 15 goes into 108 7 times. 15 times 7 is 105. And the difference between 108 and 105 is 3. Now 15 doesn't go into 3. So we need to add a decimal point and bring down a 0. And here we got to add a decimal point. Now we're going to treat this as if it's 30. How many times does 15 go into 30? 15 goes into 30 exactly two times. So if 15 times 2 is 30, 15 times 0.2 is 3. And so we have a remainder of 0. Once you get a remainder of 0, what you have on top here is your final answer. So therefore, 10.8 divided by 1.5 is 7.2. And so that's it for that problem. Now let's try another example. 9.01 divided by 1.7. So let's write it this way first. So we're going to put the 1.7 on the outside, 9.01 on the inside. And let's move the decimal point one unit to the right for each number. And so the problem becomes 17 on the outside, 90.1 on the inside. So 
So let's make a list. 17 plus 17 is 34. 34 plus 17 is 51. 51 plus 17 is 68. And then 68 plus 17 is 85. If you add 17 to that, that's 102. And then 119. And we'll stop here for now. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So how many times does 17 go into 90? So what is the highest number just under 90? The highest is 85. 17 goes into 90 five times. 17 times 5 is 85. And 90 minus 85 is 5. So let's bring down to 1. Well, first, before we do that, 17 doesn't go into 5. So we need to bring down uh, the 1. So this becomes, it's really 5.1, but we're going to treat it as if it's 51. And now we need to put a decimal point here. So how many times does 17 go into 51? 17 goes into 51 exactly three times. 17 times 0.3 is 5.1. And so our final answer in this example is 5.3. So thus we can say that 9.01 divided by 1.7 is 5.3. Now let's try this one. 9.66 divided by 2.3. So we can write this as 2.3 on the outside, 9.66 on the inside. And let's move the decimal one unit to the right for each number. So now the problem becomes 23 on the outside and 96.6 .6 on the inside. So let's make a list. So we have 23. 23 plus 23 is 46. 46 plus 23 is 69. And then 69 plus 23, that's going to be 92. 92 plus 23 is 115. And then 115 plus 23 is 138. So let's stop there for now. So how many times does 23 go into 96? The highest number in this list just under 96 is 92. So 23 goes into 96 four times. 23 times 4 is 92, and 96 minus 92 is 4. Now let's bring down the 6. So this becomes 0. 0.6. 23 doesn't go into 4.6, so let's add a decimal point, And we're going to treat this as if it's 46. Now, how many times does 23 go into 46? 23 goes into 46 two times. So 23 times 0.2 has to be 4.6 if 23 times 2 is 46. And so our answer is 4.2. So 9.66 divided by 2.3 is 4.2. Now, let's move on to our next example. 17.86 divided by 3.8. So let's try that. So to begin, as always, we're going to write it this way. And let's move the decimal point one unit to the right. So now this becomes 38 on the outside and 178.6 on the inside. So let's make a list. So we have 38 and then 38 plus 38, that's going to be 76 and then 76 plus 38 that's 114 114 plus 38 is 152 152 plus 38 is 190 and then if we do it one more time we'll get 228 now 38 goes into 178 four times 38 times 4 is 152. And 178 minus 152, that's going to be 26. Now let's bring down the 0.6. 38 doesn't go into 26.6, so let's add a decimal point. And now we're going to treat this as if it's 266. So we need to expand this list. 228 plus 38, that's 266. Which means that 38 goes into that number into 266 exactly seven times. 38 times 0.7 is 
And so this becomes our final answer, which is 4.7. Now let's try another problem. But this one is going to be a little bit harder than the previous ones. 10.011 divided by 2.35. Go ahead and try that. So first, let's adjust the problem. So this time, we need to move the decimal point two numbers to the right in order to make this a whole number. And so we're going to do the same thing here. So this becomes 235. I might need more space. And on the outside, I mean on the inside rather, this is 1001.1. So now let's make a list. So 235 plus 235, that's going to be 470. And 470 plus 235, that's 705. And then if we add 235 to that number again, it's 940. And then that plus 235 is 1175. And let's do it one more time just in case. So the next number is 1410. And then 1410 plus 235, that's 1645. Typically, the most you need to go up to is 10 when doing long division. Now, 235 goes into 1001 four times. 235 times 4 is 940. Now, if we subtract 1001 by 940, that will give us 61. And so now let's bring down a point 0.1. 235 doesn't go into 61.1, so let's add a decimal point and treat this as if it's 611. 235 goes into 611 exactly, well not exactly, but at least two times. And 235 times 2 is 470, so 235 times point 0.2 must be 47.0. And now let's subtract 61.1 by 47.0. And that's going to give us 14.1. Now let's bring down a 0. And so this becomes 14.10, but we're going to treat it as if it's 1,410. So notice that 235 goes into 1410 exactly six times. Now, if 235 times 6 is 1410, that is 1410, 235 times 0 0.06, because the 6 is in the hundreds place, 235 times 0 0.06 will be 14.10. And so now we have a remainder of 0. So this is the final answer. So just to confirm it, if you type in 10.0, 1, 1 divided by 2.35, it will give you this answer, 4.26. And so that's how you could divide decimal numbers. It's by doing long division. Thanks for watching.